today's species is the Kentucky Spring Salamander. The Kentucky Spring Salamander is a subspecies of the Spring Salamander. Their average length is about 7 inches, but they have been recorded to lengths up to 9 inches. One of the ways to identify a Kentucky Spring Salamander is you see those red spots on his back? He'll have, or those, my bad, those black spots on his back. He'll have those spread apart widely. And he'll be a nice tint of red, as you can see. They can commonly be found under flat rocks and logs on the banks of rivers and streams. They are mostly aquatic predators. Spring salamanders are not only found in the United States, but they can also be found in Canada. Spring salamanders are not always red. They can sometimes be found with a hint of purple. They are often sometimes called purple salamanders. They can be found in rivers and streams, and they can also be found in marshes and swamps. A salamander has very thin skin, so their skin always has to stay moist. If it stays out in the sun too long, it will dry out and die. The Kentucky Spring Salamander is a little bit bigger salamander. So they will prey on a little bit bigger bugs and water invertebrates, snails, mollusks. And if you remember in the last salamander video I did with the two-lined salamander, they will also sometimes fall prey to the spring salamander. The spring salamander is one of the largest family members of salamander. The lifespan of the spring salamander can vary. In captivity, they have been recorded to live up to 18 and a half years. Now that is a very long time for a salamander. Members of these salamanders will be birds, large crayfish, uh, small snakes, and smaller ones that may get preyed upon by bigger spring salamanders. Another one of their predators is fish. Many fish love to prey on salamanders, such as large sunfish, trout, and bass. The spring salamander is a very cool animal. It's a very cool salamander. If you look at him right in the face, he kind of looks like a snake. Long tail. If it focused, you'd see its web feet. There we go and how its eyes are perched right there towards the top of his head. I hope you guys enjoyed this video with the Kentucky Spring Salamander. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And in the top corner, in the top right corner, I will put a link to the other salamander videos I have, the long-tailed salamander and the southern two-lined salamander. Check those out, they're pretty cool. I almost forgot the best part of these videos. We're taking them here to this pond here. We're gonna let them go. Make sure he's put in the right direction. And there he's gonna go under that leaf. I will catch you all next time.